Okay. I thought that I would use a little mini high banker for reconcentrating my fines. I think it'll work pretty good for that. Got it set fairly slow. And we'll put some through just to see how well it works for you know, just reconcentrating them into a little higher concentration for finishing. Got a fairly good ripple action there. There's a little mini high banker that I build. Gray Wolf High Bankers. I built this one. 8 inch prospector for backpacking. A 10 inch explorer for backpacking. And a 12 inch miner, also backpackable. For fine gold recovery. All custom made. Out of uh, 8 inch aluminum here and here. 14 gauge there. These things are basically indestructible. I mean, if you ran over them with a car or a pickup, yeah, you'd probably wreck them. You just drop and bang them around in the bush, they'll last you a lifetime. So we we'll just feed a bit more in, and then see. Uh, if it's concentrated the way I think it will. It should be mainly really heavy dark sands, black sands. Oh, let's uh, get some plugs in. I could have just shut the water off, but... Oh, yeah. I wanted to see how well it would work, this. Seems to work fairly well. It's all loaded with black sand in here. And I can see a few little specks of gold. Now, they won't show up on the camera, but I'll, I'll try. Uh, I don't think they're going to show up. But anyways, I'm going to clean those out and pan that down, and we'll and we'll just continue on right here. You really want to settle them? Have something to rub them on with this. That seems to work really well for me. And just pick up and let the ripples do the work. Oh yeah. There's some nice little bits of gold in this stuff right here. Well, I'll get this finished off and we'll see exactly what we got out of the about two cupfuls of super concentrate. Okay, now, the simplest way I found to finish this real fine material off is just this really slow rocking action. It takes a while to develop the technique, it takes a fair bit of patience. And if you do see a little tiny speck going, well, a lot of people say you can't do this. As long as your fingers are being fairly wet, there really isn't too much oil on them. You can push those little specks back up into place and continue on. I do it all the time. And they don't float around. That's 
It's one of the reasons I like the uh, La Trappe pan. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> that is what we were able to get out of there. Not a real lot, but probably 10, 15 bucks worth out of a couple cupfuls of concentrate. So that's not really all that bad. Now, if you could do that every uh, half hour, you'd be doing really great. And we'll catch you on the flip-flop.